Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. Last time, we got an introduction to the speed control effects strip, which we used to take two different videos with differing frame rates and get them to play together nicely. Uh, this time, we're going to go through another use case, which is as follows. You have uh, a video, um, which is a rather low frame rate. Maybe it's a screencast or something. And you want to increase the frame rate so that you can apply some effects and they'll look nice. So let me show you what I mean by that. Right now on the screen, I have uh, a, str a strip here generated from a set of images, uh, which by the way, they were created using a custom Python script uh, made by a guy who goes by the handle Mikey Cal. He's got a video series, it's very good. Uh, anyway, I'll share the link with that later. But as you can see, it's, um, it's five frames per second is how I created this set of images. And it plays fine, but if I try to do something like do a fade in from white, it won't look that nice because of the fact that the frame rate is just so low. So you can you can really see the distinct steps that it goes through to go from the pure white down to um, uh, down to the the visible portion of of the uh, the strip that I'm trying to bring in. So now I've got these two selected. I'm going to add the color, the gamma cross. And now if I just use my arrow keys, you'll see. You can see that you know that you can really see those levels going down bit by bit. Uh, so if I play it, it's just not that smooth, right? I guess repeat that. Yeah, it doesn't look nice. So that's why when I have something like low frame rate like this, I would want to increase it. So let's decide on the frame rate. Let's go for 30 frames per second instead of five. That's actually what I use when I create these tutorials. So I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to set it now to 30. And now you can see now this entire range that we have, it only goes up to 10 seconds. So we need to extend that um, because it's supposed to be a full minute's worth of, of frames. So the calculation for this would be if I wanted 60 seconds, so I want 60 seconds uh, multiplied by the frame rate, which is 30. That gives me 1800. Uh, so like last time, what we saw was uh, what we needed to do was stretch the um, video its strip itself, the original one, to be that, that length that we needed. So it's supposed to be a minute long. So I'm going to also type in 1800 over here. <clears throat> but notice when I scroll out, you can see something's weird going on with the color. So here we've got the, uh, the purple here to indicate the, that there's... Uh, the video frames, but then once I go past that one minute mark, it just freezes. And that's because there's there's nothing left for it to show. So Blender will show the last frame from that strip. Now, here's where we put in our speed control. And automatically, as you can see now, it's showing 26 seconds, 26.79 because of the fact that it as soon the default options for speed control is that it'll adjust the playback to match so that uh, the entire thing will play with whatever you've set the length of the uh, the input strip to so now this is fine so if i go back to the beginning i'll zoom in a bit uh, i will add that color the white color again and i'll lengthen that out like this and press G bring it back so it's about two seconds worth like before I select the color and then hold down on shift and right click to select the speed strip add effect strip gamma cross and now if I press the arrow key the right arrow key you can see it's a much more gradual uh, fade right so this is looking way nicer than what it was at five frames per second but again much nicer okay so um, that was it for the basic demo of another use for the speed control effect um, in the remaining time I want to show you uh, something else about the speed control um, and that is what else you can do with it in terms of the options so let me start just by getting rid of those two we don't we don't need those 
And if I right click on the speed control and just go to the effect strip here, the properties, you can see right now we have this option stretch to input strip length and multiply speed. If I uncheck this, now we have additional fields and really the one that you would want to use most of the time uh, would be speed factor. So by setting it to one, that means it's still just going to play back at the same original speed. And that would be uh, five frames per second. So if we go through, you can see it ends up, it ends very quickly at the 10 second mark. Um, if you wanted to do, use, do the same thing we had just done here without adjusting the options, now, so in addition to extending the length of the strip itself, we have to do something similar here. We have to say how fast do we want this to be, and we want to slow it down. It was 5 frames per second, we want it to be 30 frames per second. So we can just type that as a calculation, 5 divided by 30. Press enter, and now you'll see that now it's showing that it's 10 seconds, and as I scrub through, it looks like it's doing it right, and it is. Um, so why would you take the time to do all of this if you didn't have to? Because you don't have to. You can, If you wanted to just slow down the entire strip, you just add the speed control and then adjust the length. So the reason is uh, speed control doesn't work well um, if you want to cut. If you want to take just a portion of, of um, the, the the input strip, then, well, let me just show you what happens. Let's say I only wanted 30 seconds worth. So I select the original input strip, I go to strip, and I go to, where's the cut? Cut. Yeah, so that's what happens. The um, It gets split, and then you see the speed effect um, just stays with the first half, and then this part runs up until, well, it, run, it, it goes fine up until the 30 seconds, but then this one doesn't have anything at all. And so, it, so like we saw before, it just keeps repeating the last frame that was available in the strip, which was the, you know, the 59.8. And actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that, because if I try to add the speed control here, um, it's still gonna show 59, the last frame, no matter what I do, because really there there isn't any other frame in there for it to work with. So if you wanted to do something like this, this is, I guess, the best way to do it. Let me actually, let me just start from scratch. I'm gonna just press A to select everything, erase them all, go back to the beginning, go to add image, uh, I'll press A here, which will select everything in the directory, add image strip, and now we're back to our 10 seconds worth of, uh, of frames. So if you wanted, let's say, to um, just work with the latter half, so we'll go jump to above where it says 30, you have to cut it here. So I'm going to do a cut right now, strip, uh, cut. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it all the way over to where it ought to be roughly. I'm not going to be exact with this. And then I will extend these out. Okay. And then to each of these, I will add a speed control. So I'm going to start with this one, add effect strip, speed control. <clears throat> And I will go into the options and use speed factor of 5 divided by 30. Okay, so if I scrub through that, you can see that looks fine. And now if I go over to this one <clears throat> and add effect strip speed control and same deal, I'll uncheck that option and I'll plug in 5 divided by 30 and then play that. There you go. So you can see that's how you could do it. Kind of painful. It's not something I would want to do. It's just far too much effort to do something as simple as this. Uh, and that's why the next session we're going to talk about scenes.
because I've mentioned the word, I've been throwing it around, I've been I've been clicking on this scenes drop down, but I haven't really explained why you might want to use scenes and uh, for the purposes of working with uh, speed controlled strips, that is one very good use for it. So I'll leave it there for now and we'll see you in the next session. Bye now.